Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first JavaFX application on your IntelliJ IDE IDE. Also, I'm going to show you how you can use Scene Builder in your IntelliJ IDE IDE to develop your JavaFX applications. So let's get started. Let's start with the IntelliJ IDE IDE. So just to open your IntelliJ IDE IDE and now we are going to create a new project. So click on new project here and then click on JavaFX under new project and you can give the name to your project. I'm going to name my project as my JavaFX uh, app for example and then you can choose the language. Language is Java by default. Build system is Maven which is okay. And test framework is J uh, unit, which is also okay for me. The project SDK is 17, which is Java JDK 17. You can choose the version which you have on your Windows operating system. Click on next here. So here you can choose uh, from all these uh, applications. I want to just select form FX and then I'm going to click on finish here, which is going to create my Java FX application. So you can see my JavaFX application has been created. Here under my project, I can see the source folder and then I have this main class. Under Java folder, I have this module info.java and under resources, I have this uh, hello-view.fxml file. So first of all, let's build this project and run this and let's see how it looks like by default. So I'm going to click on this build icon here, which is going to build my application. You can see it's downloading some plugins for the JavaFX application. And once those plugins are downloaded, it's going to build that application. So now I can see build complete successfully in 28 seconds. And now I can run this application by just right clicking here and then I can click on run hello application.main on this file itself hello application and you can see this kind of window which have one button when i click on this button it shows welcome to java fx application right so by default uh, this code is already working now in terms of uh, all these uh, imports you can see all these imports are added to your hello application uh, dot java class in the main method what we are doing here is we are simply uh, creating an instance of fx loader class and we are providing the path of our fxml file which is this file which is created by default which is hello-view.fxml you can see the same name here then we are creating a scene so scene is the main component in your JavaFX application where everything loads, right? And then you create stage for your scene, right? So you uh, create an instance of uh, this stage, which you have already added here and provide the title to your stage. Then you add the scene to your stage and then show that stage. And then second method in your main method is this launch method, which is uh, called by default, right? So you always need to call this launch method. Now let's go to the hello underscore view dot fxml file. And it looks like this, right? So as we have seen that our uh, JavaFX application have a button, which is here, and it has a label, which is here, right? Now, in order to uh, view this file in a scene builder, you can right click here and then click on open in scene builder. Once this window opens, you can provide the executable file path of your scene builder. But right now I don't have scene builder installed on my windows operating system. So I need to install it and then give the path to the scene builder here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to my browser and search for Java FX. And the first link which will appear here will be from open uh, JFX.io. So I'm going to click on this open JFX.io uh, website. 
and here when I scroll down a little I should be able to see the scene builder and there is the download uh, button here so I'm going to click on this download button you can see this website is called glueonhq.com so I'm going to just click on this download now button and then choose the windows option right so let's choose the windows installer option which is this one I'm going to just download that and then you can see in some time this MSI file is going to be downloaded on your Windows operating system, right? So you can download the scene builder from glueonhq.com and if you want to download the JavaFX runtime, you can separately download the JavaFX uh, SDK also from this OpenJFX website. For now, I'm go not going to do that. I'm only going to download the scene builder right so scene builder msi file is downloaded i'm going to click on this let me minimize this browser let me also minimize this uh, intellij idea ide so when you click on uh, scene builder msi file it's going to look like this i'm going to just click on next here and then i'm going to click on i accept the terms and conditions click on next and then click on next and then click on install so you can see the scene builder setup has been started. I'm going to click on next and then I will agree with license terms and conditions. Click on next. This will be the location where scene builder will be installed on your Windows operating system. Generally, I would like to change this location because you can see it's hard to remember where we have installed our scene builder. So I can just simply change this uh, location to my C directory itself. So I will remove everything apart from C and then scene builder. So inside my C directory, I will just create this directory called scene builder and there it will be installed. So I'm going to click on OK and then next and then click on install and it will be installed really fast. And then I'm going to click on finish. Let's go to the location where scene builder is installed. So I'm going to go to my C drive and then you can see this scene builder folder and here you can see the scene builder exe file. So now I'm going to go to IntelliJ IDEA and here I have already created my project. Once again, I'm going to right click on my FXML file, click on open in scene builder and then I will browse for my uh, scene builder directory which is this one and then select scene builder.exe file click on ok and once you click on ok your scene builder is going to be opened and inside the scene builder you can see your hello.fxml file is opened right so what you see here is the content of your fxml file here you can see there is this label and there is this button in your scene builder also you will be able to see this button and label is somewhere hidden here you can already see that under this v box we have this label and the button right so you can also increase or decrease the size of uh, this V box here, you can add different type of uh, components here, right? So when I click on this uh, V box, I can add uh, different controls. I can add uh, different gluons, menus, and different kind of uh, components from here. For now, I want to just add few components. So let me add a button. So I will just drag and drop this button here. Now, in order to use this button, I can change the text of this button. For example, I can change the text to click uh, me, for example, right? And then when I press enter, the text will be changed. So when you select your button, you have three uh, sections here. One is the property section. Other is the layout section where you can decide the layout of your button or any component. And third one is the code section where you need to give some ID to your uh, button. For example, I will give the ID button underscore click me. 
So this will be the ID of this button. And here on action, you can see on hello button click uh, function where this is coming from. So this hello button click function is already defined in your hello controller.java file, which is created by default in your IntelliJ ID IDE. You can see on hello button click and in your scene builder also on hello button click. So whatever function you define here in your hello controller.java file, you will be able to call that function in your scene builder also for any component, right? So I'm going to create a new method and because this is a button, I can even copy this code. So I can just copy this code and paste it once again. But this time I'm going to change the name of this method. So I'm going to just say on click me, you can provide any name to your method, right? So it's not necessary that you need to provide the same name, you can provide any name to your function, right? And then what this code is doing is it's just simply uh, adding the text to your label. My label name is welcome text, right? So when you go to the scene builder, when you click on label here, which is the default label created by uh, the IntelliJ ID IDE, you can see this ID here, FX ID and the ID is welcome text. This ID you need to provide always uh, in the scene builder. So whatever name you give to your label, this is your ID, right? So welcome text is the ID of the label in the scene builder. And that's why we are always required to add the ID of any component, right? Let me add a new label, for example. So I will just add this new label and uh, let me add this label just below this click me button. Then I will provide the label or ID to the new label which I have created. I will just name my ID as click me label for example, okay? So once you have created this uh, new label, you can also for example change the property to change the name for example click me label this will be the text which will be displayed on your label right so when you press enter this text is displayed on the label in the code section you provided the id click me label right this id you can use in your code and then uh, reference it so for example i can just um, use this id go to my uh, java file right i can just create a new label so i can uh, just copy the same code so whatever component you create you need to add at the rate fx ml on top of that because how your java code is going to understand that it's a fx ml component using this decorator on top of your label and then we are creating a label and then the label name is click me label because the id of this label is click me label right now you can use this label and instead of using the previous label i can use my new label and then change the text here for example hello world right and once this button is clicked it's going to display hello world now we have to add this on click me method in your scene builder for this button. So click on this click me button, go to the code section and then on action, you will see that the new method will appear here, right? So I will select this new method on click me button click, which is this method, right? Once that's done, you can just uh, save your fxml file and once that's done you can run your application so let's run this application and let's see if it 
works or not so i'm going to run this application and hopefully it's going to work let's see so you can see this new button is uh, visible here which we have added using scene builder this new label is also visible here which we have added and when i click on click me it shows hello world so it changes the text in the label of uh, this uh, frame right so this is how you can use scene builder with intellij idea ide you can add multiple components here and uh, then use it with the code components so two most important sections here as i mentioned is the id and the function right so if you want to do something with some uh, element for example button add on action for that and then uh, define the same function in your java code and it's going to work right so i hope you have enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video